Hello guys, I'm here with Smooge. Hello. And I am just hunting Jungmo. Smooge probably hunting too, right Smooge? Yup. And I don't know anything about Jungmo, I mean Komo. But Smooge knows. So we are gonna talk a little bit about Komo, the right nature's abilities and how to use it in PvP. Actually in pro. Not really on showdown because you know we're playing pro, right? Right Smooch? Yeah. So tell me more about Como. What nature um, should be a good one for it? Okay, so all the natures you can run. You can run Adamant, Jolly, Timid, Modest, uh Naive, Hasty, uh Careful, Impish, uh Am I missing I feel like I'm missing something. <laughs> Okay, but what's the best aggressive nature, offensive nature? Probably hasty. Why? Well, in the future, when it has a Z move, that's what the Z move set runs is hasty. Why? Explain, Smooge. Because you run like Z clinging skills, yeah, close combat, and maybe flamethrower. Okay. Taunt sometimes. But why hasty over naive? I don't know, that's what they run. <laughs> you explained it to me before! Tell so it has higher defense, and then if you get plus one defense, because that's what its Z-move does, it gives you a plus one in everything, it uh... Oh, math. There Better. you go! See, so <laughs> because you have more defense, you want to have a nature that increases uh, special defense. I mean, to not decrease special defense, right? I don't think it really matters that much, but... I prefer it's just Naive. Because... You I know, think Naive is better while we don't have Z-moves. Well, I prefer Naive anyway, because I use some teams, and I I wanted to have a lot of defense to get... to, to be a good switch into Tyranitars, and maybe to survive an Ice Shard. You know? Yeah. Um... I know Sorry, I'm like barely, <laughs> I'm not, I'm barely paying attention. I'm okay. reading. Smudge. Well, I'm trying to look at good Jangos and Dracha, and they're all garbage. Okay. Well, you you really want to use a careful one, right? Yes. Why? Uh, it's a really good rocker. It gets taunt, uh, taunt, drain punch, stealth rock. Uh, sometimes you run protect just to get extra recovery. If not protect, then toxic. Yeah, as everybody knows, Muji is a staller, so of course he wants to. It's not good. It's not good on stall though. It's just Wait. like it's like it's like one of those things you want to balance for good rocks. Okay, but isn't Garchomp just better to stuff rock? I don't think so. Well, oh. actually, I don't know. It depends because taunt is really good. It lets you beat. Chansey 100% of the time, it lets you beat Ferrothorn 100% of the time. It so, prevents rocks on both of those. Same from like Skarmory. So that's one thing that uh, Como have that you can, Garchomp don't have. Taunt. If you run speed, you can taunt Rotoms and they can't defog. And since you resist both of them and you're careful, like that's that's really good for Como. Mm. And you can beat Rotom 1v1 and keep rocks up. Yeah, that's a plus. Like. Glyscore can't do that because Glyscore will probably die to Hydro Pumps, right? Yeah. So, that's one thing you can do with Como. And I got a relaxed one, which is kind of the same thing, right? You can use just like use a care of one. I guess, but you wouldn't be able to beat Rotom because it'll, it'll be faster than you, usually. But you can counter some physical shit, right? I guess. You can probably take a hit from a hit from Weavile. Ah, mm. uh, Skull Crash. Probably. It's mm. got a lot of defense. That's the same defense as a uh, Tangrowth. Oh shit! You're right, but it's not the same HP, right? No. Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even close. It's 25 off. So Smooch suggested me to do naive one with. Flamethrower, um, uh, the dragon move that I forgot the name. Clinging skills. Yeah, and what else? 
close combat and close combat and flash cannon or stealth rocks but I guess flash or cannon is better um yeah I think I'll do that give it a try I already got a naive one but mine is soundproof I actually wanted bulletproof alright here, here's something people keep saying that uh like all chat that like soundproof is bad all of its abilities have a purpose it, they all beat different things like I know it's, it, this is really niche but like you wall H.A. Sylveon forever <laughs> with soundproof oh yes um you also wall opposing Como that are running clanging scales because clanging scales is a sound move oh right and you also are immune to bug buzz stuff from like Karabas? bug buzz boom burst Oh, boom burst, yes! I hate that thing. Bulletproof, it lets you create 50-50s with uh, Gengar, which is really good. And then Overcoat, it lets you beat things like Breloom, always. Breloom? Yeah, Overcoat is also good in, like, if you're running on, like, a sand team and, and you need, like, a really niche rocker for some reason. True. You don't want to get spored by Breloom and you don't want to get damage from... Hail or a sandstorm. So yeah, um, what else could be a good set for Como? Dragon Dancer. Dragon Dancer can work. Um, I don't think Dragon Dancer would be is gonna be the best set though, just because it's kind of slow and not very strong. It's a, it, it's kind of under uh, outclassed by Dragonite in terms of dragon dancing. And for the naive one, it is faster, one, but oh yeah, but for the naive one, uh, close combo is better than Drain Punch. I think so, yeah. Cause he, I think Drain Punch would be better on the Dragon Dance set. I see. But I also I still think close combat would be better anyway. Cause you need to be aggressive. You need to kill. Yeah. In one hit. Um, what about Earthquake? Earthquake? I feel like... I don't know. I think it's... It's a I fighting I feel like close fight. combat and... I think all your other coverage moves hits everything that Earthquake would need to better than Earthquake does. Yeah, I also saw that he learns Belly Drum. Is that even good? Uh, if you can manage to run Salic Berry Belly Drum without taking, without I don't know, I don't think it would work in Pro, but like that is an option, I guess. Salic Belly Berry. Drum, Salic Berry. What does it do? Salic Berry, it, uh, it raises your speed by one when you're under 25% health. Wow. Usually, what you do is you run Sub and then Belly Drum, and you end up at 25. So you get the uh, the Berry Boost. And then you drain punch your way back to full. Cool. So, what would be something that counters combo? Uh, Clef is always a pretty good option. But if he has flash cannon and max special attack, kind of hard. It still has. It still has to rely on predictions to beat Clefable. Yeah. So since combo can be many things, it can be physical, mix, or special. I guess. It's just important to have something with special defense and defense. And or just something faster, because that's something Como struggles with, is uh, faster Pokemon like Weavile, Banded Weavile, and uh, all the Light Orb, Garchomp, maybe Jolly Dragon Knight sometimes, I don't know. Because <laughs> Como Actually, is faster no. than Dragon Knight. Como would be faster than that, yeah. Uh, Salamence, maybe? I don't know. So it Togekiss will always have a problem for it. Yeah. So it's really hard to not play fairy in pro because dragons are really strong and you need to have something that really counters yeah. dragon. But Kobo learns poison jab, flash cannon, iron head, so just yeah, flash cannon is 
F for beating Clefable specifically, Flash Cannon is better because they always run a full defense. And Iron Head or Poison Jab does not do as much, even if you're Life Orb. Uh, Flash Cannon will always do more. It will, ass assuming your max special attack. And another thing that could counter Como is a Sunproof Como, right? Yeah. Unless it has. Uh, Unless it outrage. has like Draco. Yeah. Or Outrage, yeah. But you can run those. But Claning Scales is just really spammable, you know? Mm. Why? Because its only drawback is lowering your defense and. It's not really that big of a drawback when and it's that yeah. strong, you know? It has 100% accuracy too. It's like a special close combat that doesn't lower your special defense. <laughs> Alright. So is there anything else to say about Kowal? Oh, I found one! Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh... I don't know, I think it's best set is definitely Hasty or Naive. Hasty or Naive. Yeah. But you still wanna buy my relaxed one. I'll buy... It can be used in so many natures. It's just very versatile. Yeah, just like a Taronitar. <laughs> yeah, it's basically the same. Basically. They can run a lot of shit. Yeah. Should we also talk about the other one that is in gold? Cutie Fly? Uh, you run Timid, you run Sticky Web, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just like a Galventula. Pretty much. You need 28 speed. At least to uh, outspeed, max speed, Greninja, and does, yeah. Does it do anything else than just sticky web? Can it be a sweeper? It can quiver dance, but it's not really that strong. It's only <laughs> 95 base special attack. And what's the typing? I, I didn't search for that Pokemon. It's it's Bug Fairy. Bug Fairy, that's cool. So actually, now I think about it, Rebombi will always beat uh. Komo because Shield Dust makes it so you can't be like flinched, you can't you can't be uh poisoned. Wait, what? Because uh Shield Dust it uh it makes it so secondary effects never happen. So basically poison jab can never poison, iron head can never flinch. But that's so, so if you're good. sash you always beat Komo. That's good. I should just bought up a nice cutie fire. So that's the ability, or is it a move? It's ability. That's Shield so burst. OP. It's like a better inner focus, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> kinda. And they can quiver. I guess dance. you're immune to you're immune to fake out and stuff. Yeah. Gosh, I, I like that. I don't think it would be a good sweeper unless you have like. HP fire, even, even then it would be mediocre. Like you have to weaken a Ferrothorn a lot before it kills. Even with HP fire in the sun? In the sun, maybe, but... Well, I guess that's it. Um, we talk a lot about Kobo and whatever the Pokemon is called. I guess if you get fly? if you're up like a, against the uh, rain team, Rabambi, uh at plus one, I think it outspeeds Kingdra and Rain. So that's something. Yeah, it's a fairy type with Quiver Dance. It's kind of cool. And a lot of speed. Yeah. I think, well, it, I think it's 381 max. So yeah, we're gonna keep hunting. We are in Silver Server, so we can only hunt for Jungmo. And. Yep. Any fighting type is my friend because fighting types beats Tyranitar and Tyranitar is not my friend, right? Yeah, Como almost. Actually, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure Como always walls Tyranitar. I think any Como can take an Ice Beam. An Ice Punch. An Ice Punch, yeah. Unless it's Bandit Tyranitar, right? Uh. Let's see. Como. Tyranitar. Choice Band, Ice Punch, uh, it does 92 max, so you live it. That's good to know, so Smooge and I will keep hunting for Kamal, and 
I just want to get a better naive one. This is my naive one. It's not that bad, but I just want a better one. So yeah. Goodbye guys, thanks for watching too here. And thanks donators, Rio Raik, Isolate, Crosby, Finland Guy and Ab. You guys are helping a lot. You have anything else to say, Smooge? Uh uh. I don't know. Not really. <laughs> okay, if you have any questions about Como and the other bug fairy, uh, we can you can just put in the comments and Smooge will answer all the comments. Debatable, but <laughs> So yeah, thanks for watching and goodbye.